Give a music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here. Only the brave can enter the great laboratory. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Where could I possibly find one? I guess it's time for you to meet my brother, Alexander, the little prince, as everyone calls him. He has a special trap that will help you on your journey. He lives in a small house, on top of a hill somewhere around here. You never told me you had a brother. You never listened. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two great warriors, a shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two warriors reached the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It so happened that some of their arrows were dipped in poison. One of those arrows hit the little prince. There was warm blood in his fragile body. 
but then it was corrupted by poison. His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells. Oh God, I always asked myself why God allowed children to die. Don't be sad. You must be brave now. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. Good evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are hearing this message, then please go outside. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, wait, Father. If there really are biscuits, don't forget to share them with those hungry children from the orphanage. That is, if there's anyone left you haven't killed yet. But I fear the worst. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. This, this isn't snow. What is this? Oh, God, volcanic ash. Please, can you open the gates, Mr. 
Ja? that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. The crystal seems to be alive. It seems that the doors are being held shut by some mis- I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor.
can this be possible? What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. But what they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. This must be the essence of Earth. This must be the tincture of the sun. Those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside, you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who, who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of time. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why. 
because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God, or destroy my very being. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then they would drive a wooden stake through its heart. Others would perform even more terrifying acts. Some would burn the corpses and would make coffee from their ashes. But why am I pondering upon matters such as these when God is nonetheless beside me? The exorcism was a mistake. Now I can clearly see. David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help, that he was tormented by demons. I never considered that those could have been signs of his holiness. I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I am forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. Nevertheless, it 
is good. after I renounced the darkness of my thoughts and converted. I'm not sure why, but it makes me think of my earlier beliefs and how I've changed. Though there were two of us in one body, a pure and an evil side. See each other. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad. You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my savior. Do you hear me? Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus from St. Mary's. Good heavens, the killer priest? The child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue. You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Father, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him, hmm? Please, do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. The ritual book, where is it? One night, when the northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat of a lamb. A memory I am ashamed of now. Instead of confessing your sins, it is a... to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm a mere object. What harm could I bring? I know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood pact on the shelf right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you.
Ah! <laughs> the book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. Consider my hatred.